Let's take a look at the base being negative 2. Wow! Okay, as we all know, there are people out there that they will tell you we cannot have negative numbers instead of logarithms. Because, for example, if you take a look of log base 2 of negative 8, to see why this right here doesn't have any answer, we can put this to be k, and then we can change this to an exponential version. Namely, you can just write down 2 to the k's power, and you make this equal to the inside, which is negative 8. But the problem is that the left-hand side is exponential, meaning this right here is always positive, but right here on the right-hand side, this right here is negative 8. This is a contradiction. This right here has no solution. Therefore, it seems like this right here didn't make sense. But let's take a look of this one. What if we have log, and then the inside is still negative 8? But this time, let's take a look at the base being negative 2. Wow! In this case, are we going to get the answer for it? Yes. Take a look. Make this equal to k, just like what we did earlier. And don't forget, this time the base is negative 2. Let's give this a parenthesis. So when you change this to the exponential version, be sure you write down parenthesis negative 2 raised to the k's power, and then you make this part equal to negative 8. And now can you guys help me? Give me a k value to make this work. Thank you, the answer is 3. Yes. So as you can see, k equals 3. That will make this work. In another word, it seems like this right here is just equal to 3. So I'll just put down log base negative 2 of negative 8. We have a totally legitimate answer. It's just 3. Huh. Very nice, isn't it? Very nice, isn't it? And? Whoa. Wow. So now, before we continue, I just want to give a shout out to Shiriha because he's the one who sent me this right here on Twitter. Right? And now I'm going to explain why do people say we cannot have negative numbers instead of logarithms. The truth is, this right here is actually okay, but we just have to go to a complex word for it. And the deal is that, right here, we should have said, this and that has no real valued solutions. Because we can actually have complex solutions for this and for that. In fact, we have infinite amount of complex value solutions for this and that. That's very cool. And I do have a video on this already. Be sure you guys go check it out. But in this video, I will just write down the result from the, that video, and I'll work out this and that for you guys in the complex world. Anyway, let me make a note right here for you guys. First of all, we'll be talking about the natural log. And then, I really want the inside to be negative. Let me just write down negative x. And I will emphasize x will have to be positive. So that when you do negative x, this right here has to be strictly negative. And by the way, natural log of 0, log of 0, it's not defined, so don't even try. This right here is saying ln of negative 1 times x. And you can write that as ln of negative 1 plus ln of x. ln of x, if x is positive, that's the inner set. That's the real number part. So we'll write that down first. This right here is equal to natural log of x. And then we add ln of negative 1. And again, watch my previous video. You end up with the following. 2m plus 1 times pi i. This i is what brings us to the complex world, thanks to the ln of negative 1. This right here is the ln of negative 1 part. And then this m right here is just any integer. So now, let's talk about how we can deal with this right here. And I'm just going to put this one right here as number 1. And here we go. We have log base 2 of negative 8. And you see that we have a little trouble already? Because in order for us to use this, we have to have natural log. It's okay, because we can just use the change of base formula right here. And we can rewrite this as natural log of the inside, which is negative 8, and then divide this by natural log of the base, which is 2, like this. On the top here, this is where we have to use this formula. And of course, 8 is the x. So we are going to get ln of 8, that's the first part right here. And then, let me just write down all the values. So I just put down 2m plus 1 times pi i for the other part. So I'll write down plus 2m plus 1. And this is just an odd multiple of 
pi i, right? And then we have to divide this by ln of 2, like this. And that's pretty much the idea. So you have the complex solutions for all that. And of course, we can actually simplify this a little bit. Because for example, 8 is the same as saying 2 to the third power. And just as usual, we can bring the power to the front. So we can look at this part as 3 natural log of 2. And then of course, we have this part. And we just put on plus 2m plus 1 pi i. And we can, of course, divide this by natural log of 2, and then divide this by natural log of 2. And of course, this and that will be cancelled. So we actually end up with 3 plus, and perhaps I will just put down the real number part first, which is this right here, 2m plus 1 times pi over natural log of 2, and then let's put the i on the side like that to make it look like a complex number. It's a complex number already, right? a plus bi form. So this right here is the solutions for that. And the reason I said this is the solutions because m can be any integer. If you let m to be 0, then you're just talking about pi i over l n 2. You are just talking about the principle value. It's kind of like saying the first answer for that. That's pretty much the idea. So this right here is it. Now let's take a look at that one. How can we work that out in the complex world, huh? Anyway, write it down as natural log of negative 8 over natural log of negative 2, like this and like that. The truth is, you'll see something really fun, because right here, you can actually get infinitely many answers as well when you are in the complex world, which is really cool. First of all, on the top, I will have to follow this. So let me just put on a fraction bar in black first. And this right here, we first get ln of 8. And then plus this part, plus 2m plus 1 pi i, like this, right? And then for the bottom here, we will also write down ln of 2. And then plus this part as well. But here's the issue. On the top here, you have a set of solutions, and this is infinitely many, many solutions for that. Use m, because m is just any integers, right? On the bottom here, you cannot use m again. Technically, you can because maybe this and that are equal to each other. But in general, it's not true. So we will have to use, let's say, 2. We use k already. Let's use n plus 1 pi i. So again, the m and n, they are just integers. So here, I'll just indicate m and n are integers. OK, on the top here, I know this is the same as that. This is done in the sense that this is all the answers for that. But if you want to see the 3, this is what we do. We will let m to be 1. And in the meantime, I will pick n to be 0. And again, this is OK because m and n, they are just integers. And now, as you can see, if you put 1 right here, you get a 3. And you have that 3 as well. So let's see. On the top, it looks like we have, let me just write it down right here, 3 ln 2. And then we add. This is going to give you 3 because m is 1, 3 pi i, like this. And then on the bottom here, we have ln 2. And because n is 0, that means we just have pi i. So we can just put down plus pi i. And guess what? Yes, on the top, we can factor out the 3. And we just have ln 2 plus pi i, which is the same as ln 2 plus pi i on the bottom. So of course, you can cancel, cancel, and in the end, you will end up with a nice number 3, which is, of course, this 3, huh? So this 3 is just one of the answers among all the answers from here, and I think this is so cool. So next time when you hear people say we cannot put negative numbers instead of logarithms, the reason is just because they want to stay in the real world. But if you're willing to go to a complex world, you can do a lot more.